Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to talk a little bit about Windows management from Google Admin Console. And Charlie Love is here to help me out with some of these more advanced features. Right, so obviously within Google Admin Console, we all know that we can manage Chromebooks already. Um, but a lot of people don't realize you can actually manage Windows devices as well from within the Google Admin Console. Um, some features are available to the free version of Google Education. So Google Education Fundamentals has some of these, these features. I think Charlie will talk in a bit, bit more detail about the differences between the two. Um, but there are some advanced features available to Education Plus, which really ties together the control and security of Windows devices. Now, one of the biggest reasons why would a school want to control Windows devices through Google it obviously means you're just controlling everything through your one, uh, well, just through, through the cloud, basically. You've got everything in the Google Admin Console. You don't need to go back to AD to manage your devices. It's all in one centralized place. This is great for schools which obviously have Chromebooks and Windows devices or legacy Windows devices. And they can bring those Windows devices into the Google Admin Console and have them all managed together in one place. So there's obviously a lot of security benefits to that, time benefits, and, and cost savings as well, especially if it means you can get away from using AD entirely and just have your Chromebook fleet and your Windows devices all managed in one place. It also means for the, so that's all on the admin side, which we'll, um, we'll dig into in, in a moment. But it also means that there is a, for the user, for the student, for the teacher, there's a consistent login experience, whether they're on a Chromebook or a Windows device, and they don't need two accounts to get in there. They've just got one account, they've got their single Google account. It's all streamlined. Charlie, is there anything, is there any other, anything I didn't mention there about benefits to schools? Um, well, I think, no, I think you covered most of the points there, James. I, I think that, you know, the, the really important one, I think, is that single sign-on experience that folks have got. and also if you combine and we'll come on to it i think if you combine both the google credential provider for windows with the enhanced desktop management if you have the two of those enabled um what you get is a, is a really manageable set of uh, tools that let you just control your windows environment really easily so we'll come on to that i think we're going to talk about that in a little bit yeah absolutely so yeah there are two components to this as charlie just mentioned there's a google credentials provider for windows and then there's a Windows device management. And you actually have a choice as to how you implement these. You could, we'll talk about the, the actual details of each, but you could just use one of these independently. You could just use Windows device management or Google, Google credentials provider, or the best scenarios when they're obviously used together. But perhaps, and with uh, Charlie's kind assistant, we can talk in a little bit more detail or what these actually are. So let me just get this up. So Charlie, I know very high level, so really sort of lead over to you, very high level, GCPW allows you to log into Windows devices with your Google account. What, like digging deeper, what does that really mean, Charlie? So to, to start off with, um, so GCPW um, was available in two flavors. So there was a flavor that originally that you down, you could download from a generic link and install on your devices. And then you got a token from your admin console. Now you can download the installation file directly from your admin console, which includes the token. If anyone explored Chrome browser management, uh, the token that you use for Chrome browser management also enables your GCPW. So if you've got Chrome browser management already set up on devices, you can just deploy GCPW and it should just work. Um, the uh, installation of it, uh, you can roll that out in a, in a package with the token. If you're using SCCM, for example, on a Microsoft environment, you could package it up and roll it out. Or you can just install it kind of ad hoc as you go, as you go along. Um, and you can, with GCPW, you use your Google credentials to sign into your Windows devices. You can, if you already have a naming scheme and AD accounts and local local AD accounts or local accounts on the, on the devices, you can create a field in uh, the admin console in your Google Workspace deployment and add those usernames, those account names there so that you get 
the single sign-on from Google will actually use the existing accounts if they're there on the devices. So you can match those those accounts to local profiles. So that will work as well. And the the best bit with GCPW, because GCPW works with everything. It will work with fundamentals. It will work with plus um, and such. So uh, if you've got um, GCPW and you have one of the paid edition, the paid editions, you'll be able to, um, if you've got plus, for example, you'll be able to auto enroll your devices into the windows device management when you deploy gcpw so it it lets you do kind of two things at once you get the single sign-on um which will then sign users in and, and and when users are signed in they'll have access straight away to be signed into the chrome browser when they say log into windows they'll be signed into the desktop for drive if you're using the, the desktop for drive client to access uh, your google drive uh, all of that will be signed in automatically so it has all of that, that, those advantages, plus you get the enhanced Windows management as well. So with that, presumably, you could still have all of your accounts syncing from Active Directory to Google and then use GCPW to automatically sign those in to Google when you signed into your Windows device. Yeah, yeah. So, compare, so that's, that's already available with Education Fundamentals. And the additional feature set which schools can then employ is the next level, which is enhanced desktop security for Windows. So Charlie, if you could do the honors again. So what enhanced desktop security for Windows gives you is uh, it, it essentially creates the device and makes it an endpoint in Google Workspace, an endpoint that you can manage. Um, with that, you have a, a variety of security settings that you can apply to the device. Um, the, the use case here, is based around typically based around the, there'll be one user's endpoint signed in. You can ha you can have multiple users signing into the device. Um, you can set that up so that you if you if you have shared Windows devices, multiple users can sign in, but only one of those users will be seen as the managed user, the managed endpoint user in Google Workspace. So to allow you to manage the device, um, and when you can manage the device, you can do a variety of things. You can install you can install apps you can put the apps hosted on your network in a path you can access or in a website you can install apps through msis you can deploy um a range of um well quick you can deploy pretty much anything to it that comes under windows 10 management so you can do wallpapers you can do bit locker encryption uh forcing all of that on uh, a whole range of different things that you can you can do with that and you also get all the audit logging and reporting that comes back into Google Workspace for device activity as well. So you get that kind of enhanced visuals around what's happening on the device as well. Yeah, and I think you can control, in addition, you mentioned a lot already, you can control the webcam and the SD card as well. I think you yeah. basically have full control of it, don't you? Yeah, pre pretty much anything that you can do through the standard Windows, the standard Windows 10, Windows 10 management you can control um i know the docs aren't updated for windows 11 but i know some many folks are running it with windows 11 um as well so uh yeah you I mean you've got a whole variety and there's a great on the support pages there is a great link through to microsoft's uh device management page that shows you all the uh, the uris you can use for the de for the device management Thank you, Charlie. So that's a very sort of high level overview of, of how that works and why you'd want to do that. And this is actually, so David Miles emailed me earlier this week and we were, he was talking about Windows management. We had that conversation just back and forth about the possibility of using Google. Um, and so it's, it's, a very, it's a very topical thing. It's, it can be for schools that, which are maybe using all Windows devices. It could be for schools which are using Chromebooks and Windows or they just have a few Windows device legacy devices that they want to manage and get away from AD. So there's multiple different ways you could uh, look at using this.